Well, the journey definitely begins on this vessel in the cockpit. Uh, from the helm of all helms, the impressive seating and entertaining area behind you, and the great visibility. Um, from a seagoing vessel uh, point of view, um, the helm is in excellent position. Um, lots of instruments around you, good electronics on this vessel. It's 1982 Bertram 70, uh, which originally was a Bertram 58, and it was extended by the previous owner, that's the current owner, um, at great expense, and it certainly made a huge difference to the vessel. Um, both stability wise and for room, we've got a crew coming down the back, a much bigger deck area, and also you just walk up the steps to the back, sweeping palatially. Um, nice um, seating area there, full clears and covers, all in good condition. We sold it to the current owner two years ago, unfortunately, for personal reasons, he has to sell it. Um, otherwise, he's a very proud owner, and he's certainly maintained it to a high standard. Um, it's just as good condition as when we um, sold it to him, perhaps slightly better, perhaps. Um, well maintained downstairs, good light, which is important on a big vessel, you know, um, especially if you've got kids and uh, wives. They tend to like a lot of light, if you find boats claustrophobic otherwise. And this is like a big apartment, lots of light coming in, and of course there's blinds there if it's too much. Little chest set down there, that was with the um, boat when we sold it, and I'm presuming, I think the owner's going to let it sell with the boat again. But, um, lots of nice finishes on this boat. A lot of money over the years has been spent on this vessel, even though it's an, um, an older vessel. Um, it certainly is in good condition and just as good condition as the modern vessels and certainly much yeah, more space. I mean, 70 feet of boat um, for around about 700,000. I mean, it's fantastic. And um, it's not just um, 70 feet of boat fantastic, it's fantastic use of space. Uh, all the side down the side of the saloon, it's all cupboards, lots of storage. It's got good headroom. Um, it's got a widescreen TV. And then over to our right a minute, which you'll see and you'll be pleasantly surprised, a huge galley. And that is a galley of all galleys, just like it was a helm of all helms. All male equipment, all in good condition, um, all replaced over the past few years. There's not old equipment on this vessel, it's all been updated and upgraded. And that galley is down, which is great because, I mean, even though a lot of people say the galley should be up, but the galley down, less movement. And, uh, you know, this is the sort of vessel that goes out to sea, certainly could take it around Australia, no problems. And um, but the galley being down there in rough seas is definitely an advantage. Now, the galley, um, well laid out, and then you've got just we'll sweep around in a sec, and all that equipment obviously goes with the vessel. Um, you've got this huge fridge freezer, and that's massive. Um, I my hat. And then entry to the, um, to the engine room through the galley area. Um, nice and clean, well maintained. Two well running Detroits. Um, not bad on fuel consumption. Um, they probably haven't changed much over the years. Um, they're a good solid engine, fresh water cooled. All main, well maintained down there, and we took it for a run afterwards. And um, we didn't have any problems with it. I think um, any, the new owner won't have any problems with it. It's 65 tons of boat and it goes at 80, 18 knots, and that's not bad. Um, four and a half thousand, just over four and a half thousand um, liters of fuel. We actually got up to just under 20, which is top speed, but obviously cruising is going to be slightly less than that. 30 and a 15 kVA gen set. Um, so it's, you know, there's a lot of equipment there. Now this was moving on quickly here. <laughs> Miss this. This is the um, the guest cabin. Um, quite big, as you can see, and you've got a V-berth cabin at the front as well. So there's two cabins there, and there's another one further back and one at the back. So four cabins in total on this boat. That is a lot of sleeping um, for one person. So good job you've got a big family and big friends. Um, very comfortable. Um, also, um, what's the word? It's not overdone. I think it's um, subtle, subtly redecorated. This vessel has been over the years. It's well, very nice. And um, over you go. There's lots of storage. You know, that was storage on the side again for your clothing. And when you go out to sea on long voyages, what this vessel was designed for, you're going to carry a lot of clothing with you and a lot of gear, and there's always got somewhere to put it. So even though this vessel is fully kitted out, you can't see any mess anywhere because it's all stored away nicely. And down into the uh, excellence area, which is the um, ensuite main cabin, and it truly is ensuite. Now that is what you call a true island bed. I mean, you can swim around it, it's that big, you put a moat. Um, ensuite there, very nice. Now those taps are gold and I'm sure somebody once told me they're gold plated but I, I don't know I mean but certainly the previous owner spent over a million dollars on this vessel refurbishing it so whoever buys it now is getting the benefits of the past two owners who spent money on this vessel and well maintained so it's not going to be one of those vessels where you know you've got to spend a load of money on just a normal load of money as you can see um, changing room closet uh, a bit area behind there um, tasty decorated, it doesn't need to be upgraded, it suits the style of the boat. I mean, to modernise this vessel and put some modern finishing fittings, I think it would destroy its, um, its class and its character. And it, it has a sort of timeless feel to it, it doesn't look dated, um, it's not ultra modern, it's just nice, it's very tasteless. Now there's a full, um, full shower and um, um, enclosure there, so you know, it's, it's obviously separate to the toilet, which is good. Uh, three pillows there, but you only sleep two, I think. Um, again, all storage down the side, your writing area. Uh, when you've got office at sea. And I'm just trying to give you an, an idea of the spaciousness of this vessel as I roam around. 
um, trying to give you that feel because it's very hard from photos unless you're actually on it to you know you get on this first thing and just go wow you know and you walk down and you go even wow wow so it's got two wow factors one on its size and one on its class of condition um, and you know you look at the price I mean what else you know, when you look what you're going to buy for that I mean you're buying you know 42 Mustang sports cruisers with great boats don't get me wrong um, you know so like three or four hundred and then the 46 is um, for close on this price and this vessel is certainly going to do a lot more island hopping and there's a lot more um, flexibility to it and this would suit some people going around the islands it would suit some of the overseas you know um, Indonesia somewhere around there um, New Zealand certainly Tasmania I mean we just had inquiry from Tasmania today on it um, it's that sort of vessel it's beautiful out here in the lakes so I've got to say it's the first time I've been there and um, it was just nice and and, the de and also thank you for these sandwiches they were very nice best bread I've ever tasted up into the flybridge um, again it's a well laid out fry bridge good visibility and that's the thing about Bertram so they did think about their boats from the very first 25 Bertram a timber one that won a race and Dick Bertram decided to build the mould from that and on went the famous Bertram line dinghy davits or I should say um, jet, um, outboard and um, dinghy on the bats a 3.4 Nautica um, with a 25 horsepower outboard is isn't bad um, again you've got that visibility down there just trying to give you an idea um, it's not too high a fly bridge so you don't feel totally isolated but you know when you need to be out there at sea and you see where you're going or you want to be away from what's going on down below and that's a very nice position and there's a slight nice entertaining area behind that again you know a lot of fly bridges you go to and they're very you know nothing's to be maintained up there nothing works but it all works here I mean this vessel's got GPS autopilot radar aircon um, it's got the meal ice stove with the oven the ice maker um, I'm just reading off the spec sheet which you can find on our website nice view there if we go down to that copper area where not so long ago we in this video I was eating my um, beautifully um, fresh sandwiches it's worth going there just a sandwich believe me and then walking down the side of the vessel you know, nice nice sized gunnel rail at good height um, teak co um, covered um, floor there very nice deck um, the sunbathing for those that want it um, nice big anchor winch there and as you walk around you see it feels safe it's you know a slightly recessed walkway there now look at that it's a beautiful view but it looks really nice from that angle and uh, once we finished this video we took it for a run as I say I couldn't really fault it there was a leaking hose clamp I mean that's just normal stuff that was about it really and I was down in the engine room when we were doing going along just seeing what was in there I'm, you know <coughs> a little bit about engines over the years and uh, all seemed good to me so here we are my old lakes um, in a minute I'll just, if you go to my website there's also another video of the owner the current owner and if you go back on my, webs on my web YouTube website You'll see the previous uh, skipper of the vessel when it was in Sydney talking about it, lavishing praise on the vessel. Um, both men are not men that mince their words, the ex captain or the current owner, and they're straightforward people and they tell it as it is. And you can tell from listening to them that this boat is not um, going to be a, um, a disappointment to you if you decide to get it surveyed. And then we can obviously, that's why the boat is extended to make it easy to get onto an extra cabin. So here we have these, we're going to sweep away steps. Like the steps of the Opera House, um, nice safety rail there, teak cover floor, and that's quite a large cabin there. I mean, that's really, it's got its own toilet, its own shack. Um, a quick view back up, yeah, it's only a quick peep, <laughs> running out of video time, we do 10 minutes on um, on YouTube. Um, you notice if you've got a fridge there, small galley, bunk beds, toilet and shack. So, kids or guests that um, don't deserve the top one. 